This video will show you a couple of ways to trim text or cut off text characters within a string of text in Excel. Here I have some data which shows a three digit code at the front. Let's say that represents a department number, followed by a four digit code at the end which represents a cost center number. Now because all of the three digit department numbers in this example are the same, let's try and trim this text so that we just display the last four digit cost center numbers. To do that, I will use the write function. The write function allows you to specify how many characters from the right of the text string that you want to see. In this example, we want to see the last four digits from the right. To do that, I'm going to type equal sign right open parentheses and if you are using Excel 2007 or greater you can see here that it is prompting you as to the order things should be entered in the formula so it's now asking which text to evaluate and our text is here in cell A2 so I'm going to click on cell A2 then type a comma then I need to specify the number of characters that I want Excel to display, which in this case is four, followed by a closed parentheses. So the final formula is equal sign right open parentheses A2 comma four closed parentheses. So it's saying give me the last four characters from the text in cell A2. If I now hit enter to complete it, you will see that only the last four digits are displayed. And if I copy that formula down, you will see that it is displaying the last four digits from each of these cells as well. The left function does the same task, but it returns text X amount of characters from the left of the text string. So if I just wanted to display the first three numbers, which I said was the department code, I would enter equals left open parentheses A2 comma 3 closed parentheses and then hit enter. And you can now see that the first three digits are being displayed. So that's quite easy and straightforward. What happens though when you have a string of text where the overall length is different in each row. For example, the five rows below represent department names followed by a cost center number written in brackets at the end of the text. Let's say I want to clean that up for a report and I want to remove the cost center at the end. I can't just use the left function because when I specify the number of characters to extract from the left, the number of characters changes each time depending on the department name. So in the first one, Insights Department, my formula would be equals left open parentheses A7 comma 19 closed parentheses because the phrase Insights Department is 19 characters long. However, when I get to the next one, the number of characters changes to 16 because there are 16 characters in the words Legal Department. So I can't create a formula using the left function alone and copy it down because it won't work. It won't give the text that I am looking for. What I need to do is combine the left function with another function called the len function, L-E-N. The len function actually counts the number of characters in text. So here for example I have the word house which has five letters. If I use the len function here, it should give me the number 5. So let's test it. Equals len open parentheses A14 closed parentheses and hit enter. And it's returning the result of 5 to say there are 5 characters in cell A14 or 5 characters in the word house. So the len function counts the number of characters in the cell. Now if we look back at our department names here, we know that the cost centers at the end that we want removed are six characters long and they have parentheses around them so that makes them eight characters long and it is those eight characters that we want removed. In order to count or to calculate the number of characters to the left of those cost center numbers, we can use the len function and then subtract eight from it. So let's just do it here to see what it gives us. Equals 
then open parentheses cell A7 closed parentheses minus 8. So count the number of characters in cell A7 and subtract 8 from that number and the answer becomes 20. If I copy that formula down you'll see that the number changes each time depending on the department name. So if I combine that len function with the left function, I can tell Excel to give me the leftmost 20 characters in this cell, or the leftmost 17 characters from this cell, or the leftmost 21 characters from this cell, and so on and so forth. So the final formula then, which I will put here in cell C7, will be equals left, open parentheses, A7, comma len open parentheses a7 closed parentheses minus 8 closed parentheses so I'm saying here count the number of characters in cell a7 and subtract 8 from that number and whatever that result is which in this case is 20 then give me the leftmost 20 characters from cell a7 if I then hit enter and copy the formula down, you will now see that only the department names are being displayed and the cost centre numbers at the end have been trimmed from the text. I hope that makes sense and I hope you found it useful.